This is our 1999 Lincoln Town car limo. And the problem that we're having is the vinyl top is starting to crack pretty bad. You can see right there it's all cracked, dry rotted and split. The sides aren't too bad, it's mostly the back. Um, we re-dyed the top a little over a year ago, almost two years ago actually. And the dye held pretty good, brought back that white brilliance, but it's starting to fade again and the cracks are becoming really, really a problem. So instead of tearing the top off and spending $2,000 on a top that this car really honestly isn't worth putting into, <clears throat> we're going to try a different method. We're going to try using Flex Seal. We sell it at Home Depot. It comes in a little spray can, about a 16 ounce can, and it's basically a rubberized spray on sealer. Now, I did a test on it, and the way it dried, it actually looked pretty good. You know, it had a nice texture to it that looks like vinyl, and, um, you know, it's pliable so it won't crack or peel or anything. So, this is going to be like a four-part video. Start this off just kind of showing what we've got to start with. Now the first thing that we have to do is get this thing extra, extra clean so that this stuff is going to stick. Over the years, this top has had all kinds of conditioners and armor all and all kinds of crap put on it. So we got to get that out. Best way to do it, good old-fashioned Tide. Yep, extra strength original Tide doesn't have any conditioners in it or any other bullshit that's going to cause problems. We want to strip this thing. We want to make it so that it's nice and clean. So I'm going to wash the entire car with that. Then we'll tape it off, shoot it, and see how it comes out. Okay, so so far I've washed the entire car and removed all the opera lights. As you can see, I've got all the lights removed. And I used the Tide detergent to clean the top. And what that's going to do is it's going to kill anything that's growing on the top. You don't want any type of mold or anything or any grease to be on there. Um, what I didn't realize was that after I was done, it actually had almost like a, a little bit of a slick surface to it. You could actually feel it on your hands. So I had to get that off. Uh, so I just ended up using some Wesley's White Wall Cleaner which is just bleach white. Uh, use that and a uh, nice fine scrub brush. Scrub the entire top. That way there's no chance of having any problem uh, with the paint sticking to the top. So you can see over here I've got here's all the opera lights that I took off. Those will all be going back on afterwards. Now what I need to do is tape off the entire car so we don't get any overspray. And what I did is I purchased a big roll uh, from a Napa Supply. It's the same roll of plastic you can get at a body shop. About 36 bucks for that. And it's going to come in, I think it was 16 by 36 feet, something like that. So I'll be us using that to cover the body. And then I've got a roll of, uh, you know, just masking tape and paper. That'll be for the windows. And uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot it. This is what I'm using here. So, like I said, I, I did a test on it. And it came out pliable with a nice texture. So, I'm going to give it a shot. I think it's going to look good. Now, this is my first time using the roll of plastic wrap. Let me tell you, this is the way to go so much easier than using that paper this probably took me five minutes just unroll the whole roll I've actually still got it connected back here and I was able to wrap it right around the entire car so I've got the whole painted area covered with one giant piece of plastic and what's really nice it has a static cling to it so it sticks right to the body very simple very easy to work with uh, so what I got to do now is just run a line of tape along the edges. Then I got to just um, cover up all the windows.
See how nice that wraps right around the whole bumper, covers the hood. That's great. So now the entire car is wrapped, excluding the roof, obviously. And I found that the plastic wrap was a lot easier to use than just the paper. The paper is kind of a pain in the ass. Plastic wrap's nice because it clings to the window, so instead of trying to hold up a piece of paper and put tape on it, this just worked out much, much better. So you can see I followed all the lines. And I tell you, you don't realize how many windows and pieces of trim a car has until you actually have to tape it off. What a pain. So I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but after washing the top and wiping it down with a clean towel, I did leave the car sit outside for about an hour and a half in the sun, uh, direct sunlight, just to make sure that we didn't have any wet, um, you know, didn't want any dampness on the top at all. So now it's in here, ready to go. I'm gonna open up both ends of the doors on the garage, get some ventilation going, and start spraying it, see how it comes out. All right, well, I'm done. I just finished putting the last coat on. Took uh, 10 cans. I almost wish I had 12 to do a little bit more. Um, but here, let me focus in on where my bad areas were. This is where it was really bad, tons of cracks. Um, you can still see some small cracks there by the back window, but our major issue was right up here. There was multiple cracks, and I buried it the best I could without making a puddle. Um, I think once it dries, that will flatten down and will look much better. Uh, but all in all, I'm really happy with the way it came out. I think the texture looks nice, the color looks nice, and like I said, it definitely filled in probably 90% of our problems. We had a huge spider crack right there, gone completely. So, figure 100 bucks worth of cans, 30 bucks worth of uh, tape and plastic, and a day's worth of work. Sure beats spending two grand. So, that's that. I'll, uh, I'll update again once I get the plastic off and put the lights back on it and get it outside in the sun. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit before I do that. Figure give it about a half an hour or so. Let me just walk around this side so you can really see. I mean, I think that texture looks really nice. And that's using Flex Seal. I actually got this stuff over at, um, at Lowe's. I think it was about $10 a can. Okay, so I've let it dry for about an hour and a half now. And I came out and looked at it to see where my cracks are. And my cracks are all gone. However, the spots that I filled in where the cracks used to be, the texture is not the same. It's not consistent. It's actually a lot smoother than the rest of it. You can see here you've got a little bit more of a gritty texture. That seems to be how everything looks until you get to where where some of my cracks were. They're actually puddled and it doesn't look that great. So I decided to go to Lowe's and get some more. I grabbed three more cans and I'm going to go over it one more time. And this should give everything the uniform texture that I want. And it almost looks like the back side here doesn't have quite enough coverage on it. So I think the three cans that I grabbed should be enough to do it. And I really don't like this spot right here. My crack's coming back through again. So, ten cans wasn't enough. Got three more. Okay, here's the finished product. I'm very happy with the way that it came out. The texture is nice, the color is nice. And if you remember, there was a big huge crack right here. Gone, completely. 
I had to use that extra can to go back over it again to make sure I got the right texture because it was kind of, it, it had almost puddled a little bit and just didn't match. You can just barely see it. That's where it used to be right there. Then over here on the back side was where we had all of our major problems. This was the problem area. There were a gazillion cracks here. Not anymore. I'm really impressed with the texture. It, I'm telling you, if you didn't tell me that this thing had been painted with Flex Seal, it looks just like vinyl. And, and the color is really, really nice. So, there you go. We got a problem with the vinyl top and thinking about redoing it the cheap way. I do recommend using Flex Seal. Like I said, you can get it at Lowe's, Home Depot, Amazon. Um, Lowe's had them on sale for $9.99 a can. This ended up taking 13 cans. And that's putting three coats on so that I could actually fill in all the cracks that we had. I'm really happy with the way it came out. Looks like a new top. Alright, the top is done and it was a success. So I just want to go over what I used. This is what we used. Uh, the Tide, the reason you want to use that, you're going to kill all the bacteria and get anything, any kind of grease or anything off of the top that's going to keep it from sticking. Um, then I also had to clean it with good old Wesley's Bleach White. And that's going to guarantee that it's clean. The most thing for the Tide is to kill any bacteria that's growing there. Um, what I noticed after washing it with the Tide was it was still a little bit uh, slick. I felt it on my hands. So I used the bleach white and that gave me the perfect surface to paint on. And this is actually what I used. You can pick this up over at Lowe's for about 10 bucks. I ended up using 13 cans. And uh, I'm really happy with how it came out. So it's been about four days now and the car's sitting in here in the garage. And you can see the texture is just amazing. It actually looks like vinyl. You'd never even know. So, all in all, I think it worked out really good. I'll come to the back here just to show you. If you remember at the beginning of the video, you saw where I had all the cracks. Well, the cracks are all gone now. 100% gone. So, hopefully this video helps out somebody. I'm going to save some money instead of replacing the whole top. Flex Seal will work and it gives it almost like a, a rubbery texture. And I, it's soft to the touch, it's nice and rubbery, so it's not going to crack. And I think once it's completely dry, you could probably put something on it, give it a nice shine. Which right now it's a real brilliant white. So I'm happy with how it came out.